Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Schremanner. I am the Pink Plus Two team leader of Rolling in the Posh. Um, yes, just so you know, I do have a Snuggie on. It's not really a Snuggie, it's more like a onesie. Um, but I wanted to do a little bit of a training to just give you guys some tips um, about doing a Facebook party. So some things that have worked for me and some things that have not. I've done multiple different types of Facebook parties. Um, I actually don't do a lot of in-home parties. They just don't work for me. Online parties are where I get majority of my sales. I get my VIPs. Um, I've even gotten some recruits. So I kind of just want to start with games. Games are honestly where it's at. People love playing games. They like participating. They like the competition aspect of it. And they love winning free posh. Anything free. Um, so I would say make sure you have a few games planned. And make sure they're, um, they're more of the ones where they have to participate a little bit more. Um, not necessarily just the guessing games. Um, sometimes I actually don't get a lot of participation on those. But like the ones with the scavenger hunts, I get a ton of participation on those. Those are very, very fun. Um, but I also wanted to talk about which type of Facebook parties work. So I've done a week-long one. I've done a two-week-long one. Um... And then I've done ones where they're only like a week and a half. And then on like a Tuesday or a Thursday night, the there's a live. I do a one hour live portion. Not necessarily like Facebook live, but I'm posting live almost like every five minutes. I'm posting something. Um, so the two week one is definitely way too long. I've only done a couple of those and... Um, unless it's something necessary that the cu that my customer needs me to do or the hostess needs me to do, I won't be doing those. Um, I've also just done a fundraiser where I did it a week long and I posted a couple posts each day. Um, I because it was a fundraiser, I did get like I did get orders from it, but there was not like there wasn't much engagement. So I would suggest that you do. A week and a half and then you do a live portion the live portion is a call to action it actually gets the customer or the the people who are coming to the party they know that there's a certain time that they have to be they can tune in each day to some of the little posts you have leading up to the one hour where you're really gonna go through all the products you're gonna tell them your favorites um, though that is that's gold for me that's where everything works. Um, I get the most participation. Um, people who actually haven't even viewed the posts from before come that night because they know that that's the live portion and I'll be able to answer right away and they'll see what other people are asking. Um, I mean that's the night and I also do an exclusive deal just for that night. Um, I don't do exclusive deals for the party. I do exclusive deals just for that night. Um, so they have to tune in and order that night to be eligible for the exclusive deal. Um, so there's, so to me, there's a lot of call to action there, and that's that's where everybody um, it, it gets the attention. So I would say just if you need to do a longer Facebook party, then do a longer Facebook party. But for me, my sweet spot is doing the week and a half and having a one hour live portion on a Tuesday or a Thursday night. I try to stay away from Mondays and Fridays and the weekends. I mean, even doing maybe a Wednesday is okay, but I majority of the time do it on a Thursday. It's kind of like that lull day. Most people are home, not really doing, you know much they don't have anything plans are kind of just laying back and ready for the weekend um so that's why thursdays is usually what i choose um and even the hostess choose it too I, I ask them if they'd rather have another day um so i would just make sure you have a lot of games planned um and obviously the prizes don't have to be big prizes 
you can do a lip balm, you can do a basalt, you can do a deluxe sample package or bundle. You know, it, it doesn't have to be anything that just, you know, you're not giving away full size product. You don't have to do that. Um, or you can also do just wear uh, an RSVP sort of. I've done that too, where I do the first 12 to join will get a basalt, or the first 12 to join will get a lip balm, and then I only do one game. Um, and maybe I'll do just some fun things, but they don't actually win anything, but they still participate. Um, so make sure you have games, a lot of games planned, and just really try to figure out which ones will grab the attention and get a lot of um, a lot of interaction just between the customers, not just you and you know the people that are in the party that the host has invited. But it's something that they'll talk to you know they can talk to each other about. Um, so make sure you have the games. And then I would definitely try the live, the one hour live. I mean, it'll, it'll be a crazy one hour for you because there's going to be a lot of questions, but it's definitely worth it. And I get, I get m pretty much all of my sales just from that one night because everybody wants the exclusive and everybody's been paying attention. Um, and even if they don't, they have, I always keep it open a couple days after. So... Um, if you have any questions about what else I do in my Facebook parties, um, but I, I thrive on Facebook parties. I don't really do much in home. They, they don't really, or even the, just the vendor events, they don't really garner enough for me. People like to be at home. They like to be comfortable doing their own thing, being able to tune in when they want to. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.